Um, my name is Adam Black, and I'm one of the co-founders of Diffit. Um, and I'm excited to share a little bit of my personal story and the story of Diffit and where we're headed. Um, I have worked in K-12 education for my whole career. I was a, a classroom teacher right after undergrad. And um, without going into too much detail, I, like many new teachers, really, really struggled to find materials that I needed. My district, um, because of a really ingenious idea that they had, uh, took away a lot of our curriculum at the beginning of the year and replaced it with some things that were not 100% fully baked. I think folks have had experiences like that themselves before. And so for my classroom of fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, I had to spend a lot of time finding and creating materials on my own and differentiating them to get them at the right level for my students who are all at very, very different levels. Um, Fast forward to today, um, I went through a bunch of phases of doing education research, working in education technology, working in school administration, um, and found that that problem that I had experienced back when, when I was a teacher was something that was still being felt by many, many, many different teachers. Um, and then along comes generative AI. And the first time that I played with ChatGPT, I was blown away by it, just like everyone else. Um, and I reconnected with an old colleague, his name is Vlad, and he's now my co-founder at Diffit. And he and I got really excited about the idea of using this new technology to build a tool for teachers to help save time and make it easier uh, specifically to differentiate and get resources that are appropriate and engaging for all of the students in your classroom. And that's that's sort of why why we built Diffit. Uh, we started out by talking to a bunch of our teacher friends and asking them about the kinds of problems that they were facing. We built a super early prototype uh, and put it in front of folks in our network to get feedback. And that's been sort of a common thread all the way through. We, we work really hard to uh, talk to teachers. I talk to at least to a few teachers every single week and we're really engaged with our Facebook community and we are constantly trying to get feedback to build things that are actually going to be helpful and time-saving um, and also help support a diverse group of students to meet rigorous learning objectives. That's like really our North Star. Um, there's lots of folks that are using Diffit today uh, across the world, actually, um, especially here in the United States. But we have we have users uh, really, really across the globe, which is incredibly exciting and honestly more than I could have ever dreamed. Um, and folks are using it for all different things. There's social studies teachers and science teachers and English language learners, specialists uh, and foreign language teachers and English teachers. And at many different grade levels, folks are finding ways to use Diffit to create great learning resources and differentiate resources that they already have, which is amazing. Um, going forward, there are a bunch of things that we are really excited to work on. We are working on making our resources more and more rigorous and standards aligned and more tuned to the exact things that you want and need to teach in your classroom. Um, the thing that I'm the most excited about, if you haven't tried our student activities library yet, you really need to go in. We have these great pre-made graphic organizers that get pre-filled with your content from Diffit and they're super easy to just print out or share with your students on Google Classroom and use. Um, I'm really excited to keep building out that library and making more great engaging learning activities um, for students that that go beyond just sort of the the basics and really get into some deeper deeper learning.